in the last episode we decided to go ahead and you know get ourselves a auto sifting setup which is pretty good now in between episodes i also made a quick and dirty drawer controller which we're gonna go ahead and take some item pipes and run it underneath our base to go ahead and connect this i just had run out of item pipes because this guy in between episodes has been getting quite full unfortunately so i do need to make a little bit more item pipes but thankfully that shouldn't be too hard for us today my plan is to go ahead and get into power because well we need a bit more more better power than we currently have which is basically just some basic run-of-the-mill coal generators which is not ideal right we want something a little bit more powerful than that so i think think i'm gonna get into power today because that will give us a better chance of getting some better power generation you know before we do that actually i want to upgrade our storage problem and i think i have a solution for it assuming that i have my favorite item we do so we have the storage scanner now the storage scanner is actually a really unique and neat thing i've used it actually quite a few times in a few of my ozone playthroughs which is actually really cool it's a really nifty little block that you can go ahead and use to get a somewhat early ish search function which is really powerful honestly if you you know use it right which is pretty sick i need to break this down into more redstone and then get me some torches please and then i think we just need a few ender pearls now we should have plenty of ender pearls from sifting a bunch of end stone right in the previous few episodes because yeah we've been kind of doing a lot with ender pearls recently yeah we've got quite a few of them which is really good so if i take this and make this storage scanner and then what we should be able to do is use sophisticated storage and their barrels to go ahead and do some really cool things now here's actually a really good question though because if i take this and let's say we upgrade it to a gold barrel i'm not seeing it's not letting me do the iron here weird is it not working with the vanilla barrel oh you know what that's right i forgot this mod has its own variant of freaking barrel i don't know why it doesn't use the vanilla barrel but it is really obnoxious to go ahead and do that so i guess what we'll do is we'll make some more of these like so but this time we need to make sure that we put a redstone torch in the middle for whatever god reason that th that is but there we go take this make that and then take this and then that's gonna get upgraded like so maybe okay so that recipe doesn't work for some reason gotta love it so does that mean that i'm gonna need eight as well yep and i assume eight diamonds as well hopefully this is a lot of storage because if this is not a lot of storage i'm gonna be very upset because this is pretty expensive and i think the next tier up is like netherite right or something like that or is diamond the highest we can go yeah netherite ingots which is yeah we we don't have that quite yet but let's see how much storage that is you know what that's actually a decent amount of storage if i make like five of those which i probably can't even make five of those but yeah let's make five of those or four more at least and then that should be basically all we need for storage at this point because then i'm going to show you a really cool trick okay here's my plan i'm gonna go ahead and put my storage scanner right here in the middle of this platform like so and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my fully upgraded diamond barrels like so and i'm gonna go ahead and place them back here like so i'm also gonna go ahead and place down some regular barrels because regular barrels are also pretty good for storage well sort of but these are gonna be kind of like our main bulk ish storage but i can also put down my other barrels that I have in my inventory here to go ahead and get a little extra storage now it's not gonna be like a crazy amount or anything right but this guy these guys are gonna provide a lot and also don't forget that we can also upgrade these as well which is really nifty as well and yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place down okay hold on get up is this gonna vein mine the bottom ones as well no just the top ones beautiful what i'm gonna go ahead and do is do something like this and we're gonna build up a bit of a uh wall here like so and this should be pretty much all we have to do i might want to make one more for that corner all i'm gonna do is come over here make sure that i have power routed to this bad boy i might just bite the bullet and make a flux point here because that would make our life 20 times easier 
with our flux point acquired go ahead and place that down like so make sure it's on our power network like so and then once this fills up with power what i should be able to go ahead and do is up the range on this bad boy like so you know we might as well just crank it all the way up right and i also can probably you know what? let's not crank it all the way up because that's probably a bit excessive i don't know how far i need to go to make sure that this is going to do all of the barrels and nothing else i think it's a radius i'm not sure how that works if i click on this which one is it highlighting i can't tell but i guess i could like increase the thing a little bit yeah more barrels barrel barrel i gotta be careful too because some of these are probably gonna be behind me but i guess there's only one way to find out right but yeah i should not be able to take all my stuff basically and just dump it in here for free right i mean it takes a little bit of power but yeah and i'm also able to search now so if i want to look for like for example like iron i'll be able to easily find iron in all the rottable inventories guess what well to get into power we need a bit of iron and guess what we don't have that much iron we do get a quite a bit but we don't have a lot so i'm going to, have to be very careful on how much iron i use here but we can go ahead and get started so i guess the first thing that we're going to want to go ahead and make is some dielectric paste now i'm going to use the blaze rod recipe because we can go ahead and do that take some of our blaze rods like so break that down into blaze powder like so and if we look here at dielectric paste the dielectric paste can be made with some coal some clay and some blaze powder it's actually not that expensive beautiful once you have your dielectric paste i believe your first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and make is your little basic capacitors here i believe they're going to need these guys and these guys are so expensive dude you need quite a bit of redstone as well wow i didn't expect this to be this expensive and this sieving setup is incredibly slow i actually might consider making some speed upgrades for mechanism and doing it that way because holy heck this is slow okay so we have some capacitors break that down into i don't think we want to break those down do we so if i want to get power the first thing that we're going to want to look at is the magmatic dynamo or the magmatic power here that's going to give us the adr if tick for starter which this is actually relatively cheap i wasn't expecting this to be that cheap actually this is actually really good so you just need tiny capacitors now can i go straight to the big boy i can but i need the starter boy first okay and the basic gives us 320 that's actually not bad but i need five starters which means i need oh god i'm gonna need 10 of the little capacitors i don't even know if i have that many no yeah and we just do not have the materials right now to even think about doing that okay so let's go ahead and make i believe 10 of these oh god okay so 10 of those and we want the magmator when it is in the default configuration like so we need these dielectric casings which means we need these horizontal and vertical casings which shouldn't be too hard like so and then we're gonna want five of each of these i think so like that and then i believe we're ready to go ahead and make five of these bad boys i just need a couple more buckets here so there is our five magmators basic or sorry starter and then we're gonna need five of the starter or basic so that means we need five more of these which means i need more of these dear god uh hold on i gotta make more horizontal ones which is fine and then i should be able to go ahead and make the casings i need two more casings i don't think i'm gonna have enough iron for this i need at least five more buckets and then i'm gonna need oh god more of these wait no not more of the tiny ones right more of the big boy capacitors yeah i need oh god what is that gonna be eight more of these which means that should be good enough to make five more of those beautiful now that's 320 rf a Ick. now if i want to upgrade to the next tier that's gonna need hardened steel or energized steel which means we're gonna need the energizing orb and the starter power rods which is going to be very expensive to go ahead and start with let's go ahead and make the energizing orb it shouldn't be too bad and then we just need one of these bad boys which shouldn't be too bad we just need a little bit more of the capacitors that's fine the starter 
here and then i want to upgrade this to the basic like immediately if i can because that way it's going to be a little bit more better i'm just gonna need a couple more capacitors that's fine oh god this is so expensive and then you i think i just need nether court blocks and then that should be fine as long as we have nether quartz blocks so if i take this i hope i don't need smoky quartz because that would be um <clears throat> bad but i don't think i need that i think i just need one of those uh let's see oh perfect the starter basic rod yeah, yeah, yeah perfect and i think we're pretty much ready to go so if i come i guess and put this right here here and i put the rod like here oh i don't think i can put this on this cable i actually might need to make the mechanism cable i do have to make the mechanism cable that's fine the universal cables aren't too bad to make they're actually relatively cheap there's just some steel and some redstone so if i go ahead and put this here that's probably not gonna work the way i want it to yeah so what i could do is run some cable like that and then put this i guess here that should do perfectly i'm gonna have to like configure it so these do not touch this weirdly enough because it just looks weird really weird i don't like the way it looks and then have you on this side output perfect and then i should be able to take some iron and some gold i'm running low on iron again that's okay we've got a little bit more here and i take some gold i don't know how much of this i'm gonna need so to upgrade these the mag mators from the basic it's gonna require well a lot of these okay so we get two per one so it's gonna be 15 of these oh god and i get oh god i need the large which needs a two bit oh this is expensive okay so i think this is gonna have to do it for now because i'm gonna need at least for this for one of these i need two of these which means i need one large i need one large per so that's gonna be 10 of these oh god oh actually you know what that's actually not terrible that's relatively mm, it's pretty expensive but it's not like over the top okay so to make the energized steel what we're gonna do is take one iron and one gold and click it on here like so and then that should start to energize that perfect would you look at that now i'm just gonna do this 20 times okay with 40 of these in hand i should in theory be able to go ahead and make the 10 of these that i need like so and then i should be able to go ahead and make this hopefully i'm able to do this relatively easily i do need a little bit more horizontal that's okay which i'm gonna need a couple more iron bars hopefully not too many more and i should be able to go ahead and not make that that's too far crazy and then go ahead and actually hold on nope i need to make oh god i messed up hold on i did not mean to do that i now need i believe one more casing oh god i think that's fine beautiful i am short a few i'm short five okay well that's easy enough that should be a super easy fix two of those and actually no wait, three of those and three of these and that should fix the problem and just like that the final magmatic dynamo is crafted Ooh, okay so here is my plan of action i think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a platform maybe underneath this as well and we're gonna just run yeah I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make a platform underneath here and we're just gonna do a really simple and easy lava gen I'm probably gonna end up using the superheated element times like three or four to go ahead and get a ton of lava so that way we can go ahead and get a lot of lava with the platform built i have a trick up my sleeve it should be relatively easy to go ahead and make the super heating element like so it is going to require a steel casing though which is indeed quite expensive so i'm thinking let's stick with three so i'm going to need at least 12 steel which is quite 
quite expensive. Now, I oh god, I'm, I'm gonna do it with this recipe, but I really shouldn't do it with this recipe, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, okay, so here we go. Three of those bad boys, and I think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and make the superheating perfect. And I think all we need is crucibles, and then we should be good to go. I believe I have extras actually. I do, and I did move our cobblestone generator down here, which is gonna make this 20 times easier for us. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave a space for this just in case if I need to go ahead and do anything crazy. And then all I think I gotta do is not do that. That's not what I want. And there goes those into the void. That's fine. Oh god. Okay. I totally forgot that. That's a thing that I have on my auto clicker. Oops. You know what we need? We need a magnet so bad. Now that I keep dropping things in the void, let me see what I can get for a magnet here. Let's see. This guy should be relatively cheap to make. Yeah. And then this is going to be even better. The upgraded version. We just need an eye of ender, which I can totally make if I grab some blaze rods now i probably could also you know get another blaze spawner from the end or the nether and get a pretty good decent emc farm going but this is gonna do for now i guess so if i go ahead and turn this on now i should be able to go ahead and pick things up from a relatively good distance let's go ahead and put our superheating elements down like so go ahead and put down the porcelain crucibles like so and i don't think i need to worry too much here about the which i'm gonna call it here thing i don't think i need to filter i'm really hoping i don't have to filter but i might have to filter which i mean if i do it's not the end of the world but it would be really nice not having to uh filter i don't know why this is not letting me place these on top it's just being a little suspect but i think if i go ahead and turn this on i should start to see yes beautiful and now that's gonna start making lava at 60x the speed we love to see it and just for simplicity's sake i actually might just you know use some of our pipe upgrades i know that we do have a extra diamond upgrade from claiming a quest reward from the last time so there we go that should speed that up dramatically and then i guess do i want to maybe particularly put it in a set inside of a tank and then have it be pulled out of a tank that might be ideal actually so if i want i can go ahead and make a tank from mechanism i should be able to make one of these very basic fluid tanks and can i make the bigger boy i can I just need a little bit more of this iron and then that should allow it to do that. You know, actually, I might even consider making the, oh God, from mechanism the mechanical pipes because these are really op i feel again it just needs steel with the basic mechanical pipes acquired all i have to go ahead and do is place them down like so and then make sure that these bad boys are configured to go ahead and oh boy that doesn't work so that means i need to go ahead and make the configurator but i hate that i can't just use any wrench on this i have to use the configurator and the configurator is not really uh, that easy to make but we'll just kind of deal with it for now i do need two more of these infused alloys which is going to be 10 redstone i believe redstone gives 10 each if i just grab like two of these i should be able to do this without any problems and just like that there is your confusion configurator like so go ahead and make sure that you put that in your hot bar like so so it can get go ahead and charge go ahead and set it to fluid mode and then you're just gonna pull out all of the fluids please lovely we love to see it so now it's gonna go ahead and fill this tank up with the lava and then what i'm gonna go ahead and do is take my little beautiful magmators like so move this torch out of the way and we're just gonna go ahead and line them up like so and then we're just gonna go ahead and plop them down like so and get them all hooked up very simply and easily and then configure this to pull out and then that should start to feed these guys all with the lava buckets now i'm hoping we're producing enough lava to go ahead and keep this well fed it does look like we are net gaining which is a really good well 
yeah it looks like we're sort of net gaining don't forget that i do also have another one over here that we're using to go ahead and make an obsidian with so i can just go ahead and take this and go ahead and bring this also downstairs for a extra added you know lava gen if we you know <clears throat> need it per se so go ahead and plop that down like so and then go ahead and you know set that up like that and then have this also pull out and hopefully now this should be net gaining pretty fast beautiful and this is generating lots and lots of power i'm gonna go ahead and come down here now i don't think I think I have enough universal cable. I don't to come up here and run this down like so. Okay, I think what we can do now is go ahead and do something like this and then connect this bad boy up like so and we should be generating quite a bit of power from this bad boy each one of these is generating about 800 rf a tick which if we do the math is about 4,000 rf a tick between if we were to you know pull them all together it is 4,000 rf a tick between five generators which is not too bad right now that we have our power upgraded it's not crazy right we can probably do a little bit better than that but for right now that's gonna do us plenty i finally got a silk touch book from the wandering creator dude so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that yoink thank you very much it has silk touch efficiency 10 mending unbreaking 5 chainsaw which is pretty sick unfortunately guys but unfortunately it is time to wrap up today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please give me a huge favor smash the like button smash the subscribe button ding that notification bell become part of the hunter tribe as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye just like the street lights lit this time like a fire Gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out